Why should you know treatment organizations and health professionals use CRA as opposed to other evidence-based treatments? One of the reasons that uh, I think that the community reinforcement approach is one of the better approaches and, and, and should be useful for most programs is firstly, it's, it's, it's the longest running evidence-based protocol that we have uh, in the literature. Uh, secondly, the philosophy is a philosophy of um, support, help, reinforcement, non-judgmental, and it, it, it really is a type of treatment that really hopefully uses the positive parts of individuals' lives. CRA is also based in some very good theoretical constructs. It's based in operant conditioning. And whether or not you've done studies with, with animals or you've done studies with humans, they all come out the same because positive reinforcement is extremely strong, especially intermittent uh, reinforcement. And with alcohol and substance abusers, and misusers, it's very important to try to find what are some things that might reward them for not using drugs and reward them for spending time with the families. What are the things with each individual that is rewarding to him or her that has nothing to do with substances, negative substance use? So what we try to do is replace those, those reinforcers for negative substance use and find positive things to replace them regardless of what that is. And everybody's an individual. So for some people it might be spending more time playing an instrument. Other people it might be more time spending with their family or their children or getting involved in other activities. But we really have to help them find what is rewarding and a payoff for them, something that's fun for them other than using substance uses. Um, and the nice thing about CRA is that it has lots of different pr procedures and pieces to the puzzle. We use functional analysis to look at the function of a behavior, why the behavior continues. We help people use uh, skills training, assertiveness training, uh, learn how to solve problems. But we always do it at the pace of the client using such other instruments as satisfaction or happiness scales. We let the client pick and choose where they want to start their program and how fast they want to go. The important thing is, is that we help the individual client receive and support them on what types of things they want to work on first. We know what using CRA for the last 35 years or more is that when you start working with a client and you start getting positive benefits and they start experiencing self-efficacy, let's say in the social life or with their job or in their relationship, it will impact on their substance use. So there's no sense to argue or power struggle with anyone. It's counterproductive. So let's stay upbeat and try to help each individual work on what they feel are important things for them and then we'll move into the substance use when they feel a little bit more comfortable in their therapy and they feel a little bit more comfortable with their therapist. And again, we work for the client and we do not mandate that they do anything that they are not ready to do and that they have to be capable of doing it. Do they have the skills necessary? Do they have everything in place to be able to make a positive change? If not, our job is to help them get those positive things get the tools they need to make positive change.